Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a stalker's reading. As you guys know, these are one of the most popular readings with you guys and that's because a lot of people could be thinking of you when you feel it. So now we're not going to be talking about actual stalkers or any kind of dangerous situation. This reading is all about those people around you, perhaps known or unknown, that are paying a little bit too much attention to you for some reason giving you too much power, or gossiping about you, whatever. Let's see what shows up here. We're going to be focusing on the three people who are mostly thinking of you at this time, and let's see why. But before we start, please make sure to click on that subscribe button and join me. I know that you hear this from every single reader and every single YouTuber, but I can't stress enough how much of a difference it makes. And I want to keep this channel going. I wouldn't want to, you know, have to be pulled in a different direction because of the algorithm and how the channel doesn't seem to be, you know, flowing in the same way. So please, if you get a chance, click on that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, comment below. All of that activity really, truly helps. I want to continue to be here with you guys. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and set up the reading. All right, Pisces, here we go. First person that's thinking a little bit too much about you could be a Virgo could be someone who's feeling lonely, could be someone who sees you independent, you know, doing your own thing, happy in your own company, and they may feel almost triggered by that. This could be also a person who wants to control you in one way or another. I see you as this little light here, Pisces, and it seems like there is someone who wants to put you in a cage almost. I feel like this is someone who you probably know. It seems kind of personal here. And I get that this person seems to be very unhappy about their own lives. There could be a lot of anxiety in their, in their mind. Maybe they don't rest very well. Maybe they are just very, very anxious about something that has to do with you. In some cases, there could be someone here that thinks that you're psychically attacking them or that you are draining their energy or something like that on purpose. And you may be completely not, like completely unaware of this person's existence, um, but they may sort of feel that. It's as if someone blames you for the hardship in their life or in, your, in their mind. They're a very anxious person, very, very anxious person. Maybe they see here um, some kind of success with you. Um, maybe this is someone who maybe wanted to marry you or build a sustained, steady life with you here with the Four of Wands. This could be someone who perhaps thought of you as their twin flame or their connection because this is the 1111 card. <laughs> Shoo! Uh, okay. And uh, it seems here, for some of you, this could be someone who's jealous of your stability and your maybe long-term romantic relationship, if you have one. Or, you know, the other theme here is that they wanted that with you and for some reason, you know, that's not happening and they're very, very stressed about it. They seem to be very unhappy with what life has given them. It seems like they just don't feel like their success, like their circumstances are enough for them to be happy. Maybe they compare themselves to you. Maybe they just, I don't know. It's like your, your existence frustrates them because they want more for themselves. Maybe they want what you have. Maybe they want to be you in one way or another. And it's like, of course they can't and therefore they are very frustrated and it seems like this person doesn't really have that much of a sense of identity it seems like just 
someone who wants what you have, someone who wants to be in your shoes, someone who wants to do exactly what you do and look exactly how you look and kind of creepy like that a little bit. Not dangerous, but it seems like this person is just going to be eternally frustrated because they are not you. And they don't seem to find value in who they are. Kind of sad, to be honest. This could be someone, um, a Virgo. But it could be, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Virgo um, sun. It could be a Virgo rising or Virgo moon. Or Venus. Second person here. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Libra. This could be someone who has moved away from your life or you have moved away from theirs. This one feels even more personal. This feels like a real um, kind of like matured connection, meaning that you have gone through a lot with this person. It could be a Scorpio, could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It seems like you are moving towards calmer waters. Or that they are afraid that you are moving into calmer waters. This is someone who appreciates you a lot. Someone who really connects with you. Could be a current partner. Could be an ex-partner. Could be an ex-best friend. Or something like that. Could be a current best friend as well. Or just someone who really sees eye to eye with you. Uh, I think that this is a woman, to be honest. Even if you are... Pisces woman or man. I feel like we're talking about a woman here. And it seems like... It seems like they miss you. That maybe for some reason they know that they're not right for you, that you're not right for them, that the connection is just not meant um, to continue. There could be a lot of regrets. This could be someone who thinks or feels that the way things went between you two were unfair. Maybe that the exchange, uh, the value, um, the, the balance in the relationship was not there. Maybe they put it into it, maybe you put it into it. It seems here like... Yeah, it's like they feel there was something that was unfair. Something about the ending of this connection that was unfair. And I sense sadness, but I also sense frustration. This person may be thinking about, about your love life. This person may be thinking that you had a crush on them or something along those lines and you did not. <laughs> that could be something that's present in their mind. Also, this could mean um, that there is a Libra or a Scorpio. It could be a current partner that is worried about the equal give and take of a connection. Someone who wants things to be fair. And someone who seems to be afraid of you moving away, walking away, maybe traveling or creating space between the two of you. Take it if it resonates. Now, for the third person, we got here. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of signs here. You're going to have to go with your intuition on this one. Um, there seems to be someone here who is in a very nervous, anxious, and aggressive energy. I'm feeling that this is a person you don't know about, actually. So this could be someone on social media. This could be someone who has a crush on you through the internet. This could be someone... It's like you're not aware of them at all. This person... feels betrayed, triggered, annoyed. But you've never crossed a word with them. 
this is someone who has a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. They're going towards a goal and they don't care who they step over to get it. They set their boundaries and they don't care how other people feel about them. Even if they get their feelings hurt, they don't care. This is a very, very self-focused person. Could be a narcissist. Could be someone who only thinks of themselves, who only thinks about their well-being. They want everything for themselves and they don't care if people around are struggling, suffering, or anything like that. This could be someone who's actually sending quite a bit of anxiety energy your way. So if you have been feeling anxious more than normal or in a way that is not reflecting your circumstances right now, this person focusing on you for whatever reason could be um, doing this, could be affecting you in that way. It seems to be someone who has a crush on you but they're like afraid to admit it or they're very frustrated because you know that you will not receive their offer well so they're not even gonna try. Could very well be a Leo. Someone who feels or thinks that forever is with you. Now, that is one possibility. Now I'm getting a completely different one. So, you know, take it if it resonates. This seems to be another person that fits, fits that kind of description. I see a Leo here who is desperate, who is going crazy with stress and worry and frustration and it's like they're running around with like a chicken with their head cut off you know it's like they're going through madness right now this seems to be someone who mm, you may have had a fallen out with so we're not talking about the first person that I sensed here. That one was kind of like, you've never crossed paths with them. This seems to be another person that fits these energies. And this could be someone you had a fallen out with, fall out with, someone from your family, someone from your friend group, someone from your work, I don't know. But this person wants to offer an apology, but they're so embarrassed. But they're so frustrated and they're so desperate because something seems to be going really wrong in their life. And they feel like you could help. You know, this person actually showed up in the previous reading that I did for um, Stalkers. I think it was last weekend. Yeah, this person is desperate. They want your help. They need your help. They are embarrassed to look at you. So they're looking away as they offer a reconciliation offer, but it's just because they really need your help. They're going through a very hard time. All right, Pisces. So this is what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and say hi in the comments below. You can just go ahead and write hi. <laughs> and I'll know that you're watching. Sending all my love to you and please check the description box below because I do have some surprises for you. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!